dog in here, and I have a, a decent horror movie. It's called Carol, starring really no one I've ever heard of, but they do an okay job with this. Uh, it's about a group of college friends that decide to celebrate one of their birthdays by renting a old cabin in the in the woods uh, a ways off campus and they're having a great time but they're getting bored and they ex they decide to explore the hidden areas of the cabin which when they get to the old cellar they find an old scary looking wooden box with a zodiac sign that happens to have old scary tarot cards in it and they decide that it may be fun to mess around with the spiritual realm and take some tarot readings. Thinking all is fun and games, they agree to do it with some hesitation. Um, but they all think nothing's really going to happen uh, until it does. And one by one, it seems that they're all going to meet their end, their end in horrific ways uh, like the tarot cards suggest. Uh, they're told by an old spiritualist that the only way to maybe cheat death is to play the cart the tarot game again and invoke the evil the evil witch that cursed the cards with her soul when she killed herself. And now she's bent on putting the same curse on whoever Decide to play the car tarot cards. Now they might be doomed to try and escape their death by beating the old witch at her deadly game. Can they cheat death? Or will they all meet their own death in horrible ways? That is the question. Now, they do some things good with this. Um, and I do like the final destination kind of nodes here. And with the unique twist of it being with tarot cards. And they try to outrun death at all uh, turns. Uh, but it's nothing but, uh, a Final Destination wannabe, uh, but with tarot cards. And although it does have enough interesting scares in it to keep the average teen horror movie, uh, goer scared and interested, I mean, again, here's a good example why horror movies are better when it's a hard rated R instead of a rated PG-13. But it's not a bad movie. I give it a three and a half out of five. Uh, and some people might like it. Uh, you uh, can find it on Netflix, like I did, but also on Amazon Prime or other streaming networks like Bandango at Home. 
or you may be able to find it on physical media. So look for it there if you want to watch it. So if you're on Rumble, hit me a like, subscribe to my channel. If you're on YouTube, hit me a like, subscribe to my channel. And of course, watch those movies. If you have any comments for me, you can leave them down in my comment sections below. And if you want to join Rumble, but haven't registered an account yet, register one with my referral link at the top of the screen here. And it will give me a slight commission if you do decide to do something of your own on the platform. Hope to see you around. Bye.